Good evening. Crime is an ever-growing problem in the city, and one local business just became the latest victim to a break-in. But with thieves hoping to score big at the shoe store, they missed a major thing, the matching set. News 13's Gabe Chavez spoke to the owner and has the video. I'm definitely heartbroken. When Isaiah Size opened up Southwest Souls eight months ago, as a 21-year-old business owner, he was hoping to share his passion with the community. I've always been in love with shoes, obviously. Um, have so much now, collect so much myself. I've always done it since I was a kid, but since about COVID, I uh, played a lot of basketball that shut down a lot of the gyms indoors. Had a lot of basketball shoes, had no need for them, so I just sold them and figured I could do a business doing that. But on Monday morning, his hard work was disrupted by a pair of criminals. And they were in here about five minutes and then took off. Around 4.30 Monday morning, Size was alerted to a break-in. The thieves first scouting the store, eventually breaking in through the back window. The thieves then started loading up trash bags full of shoes. The thieves making off with $600 in jackets in the back, other electronics, and over 100 shoes totaling thousands of dollars from the display shelves but not one of the shoes they took were a full pair. Probably anywhere from twenty to 30000 since I can't do anything with the right shoes. So. Sai says that even though the break-in has set him back, he plans to welcome the community back soon and continue to share his joy. We're going to move on from this. We're going to take it to the chin, and yeah, business will continue. Gabe Chavez, KRQE, News 13. Anyone with information on the break-in or know who may be responsible is asked to call police.